In an era of 8K gaming and deus ex computers that go straight into your brain, experience the hot new sensation sweeping the nation. A phone game from 2018? Oh, it's all about calling your friends out as lying sacks of shit. Now I get the appeal. Among Us. Drop into the latest trend in interactive abuse as the attention deficit gaming community searches for anything to keep them busy in this time of isolation. And rediscover an extremely mobile version of Mafia done in a Newgrounds art style that's somewhere between the complexity of the other offerings in this pseudo genre as Among Us scratches that itch to have fun with friends while mercilessly ragging on them, and sweeps the world from South Korea to Brazil to become the game you have to be playing on Twitch if you want to make money right now, while we all completely forget about the goofy streaming trend that everyone was obsessed with a couple of weeks ago. Out of the way, you! Jump into the multicolored suits of the crewmates as you and up to nine of your friends are tossed into three different maps, such as Scaled, the classic spaceship map that everyone actually knows, Polis, the thing inspired level that will have you wasting most of your time trying to figure out how to get into the specimen room, Mira, the best imposter map, but also the one with the stupid doors that take a ridiculous amount of time to open, and eventually back to Scaled as everyone complains about not knowing the other maps well enough. Then run around in an attempt to finish all the objectives before getting graphically disemboweled at the hands of your so-called friends, which would all be dead-ass easy if you weren't constantly looking over your shoulder in case you get murked, in which you still have to finish your tasks but as a spooky ghost, because apparently in this world even death doesn't free you from work. Then, just sit there saying nothing while you listen to your buddies sell the absolute worst bullshit you've ever heard and get away scot-free. Or alternately discover that they're incredible liars and question your entire relationship. <laughs> yeah, this is a fun game, Gary, but uh, we need to talk about those karate tournaments you've been taking my wife to. Take out your crewmates with extreme prejudice as the imposter, running to objectives like the little ants you're about to squash. Then use the sabotage mechanic to route your crewmates away from specific areas or zip around in the vents in an attempt to find an unsuspecting person to gank and leave their half-eaten corpse on the floor for someone to discover or report yourself and sow the seeds of distrust and doubt among everyone as you silently revel in the glory of your 700 IQ plays until you stab a guy and everyone immediately walks in on you in an intense game of cat and mouse that will have you realizing that you're about as smooth as a cheese grater. And your best bet at winning is just to talk as little as possible. Look, if it worked for OJ Simpson, it can work for me. Deep dive into the real meat of Among Us, the voting screen where a reported body or emergency meeting gathers all of your crewmates to discuss who might be the traitor among you. And each member lays out a clear and concise testimony of what they might have seen and who they suspect, at least for the first two seconds until it just evolves into a cacophony of screaming. Then realize you ran out the clock and everyone just gives up and picks the person they like least and the whole voting process fails and everybody loses. In a system that feels horrifyingly close to modern democracy. Remember kids, your vote matters. Just don't vote for me, oh God damn it! So put on that oh so random headwear, then get ready to say some really hurtful things to your close friends. And you better have a few of those if you wanna actually enjoy this game because playing it with randos is about as fun as turning on voice chat in Fortnite. At least you can always watch your friends play it on Twitch. Ah, the bittersweet sting of parasocial relationships. Starring. Doing a little shit when the report window pops up. The crewmate that would swear on his dead mother if it got him not voted. The dude that always sounds suspicious even if he doesn't mean to the imposter that self-reported to try to accuse you first, the imposter that self-reported and gets hit with the self-report, lull, the guy who may have been outsmarted but outsmarted they're outsmarting, 
getting picked blindly and somehow getting lucky. And getting accused of being shady for taking too long on the card swiping mini game. I'm going as slow or fast as I can. You're the real monster here. Among us. With the rate the Twitch trends are going, in like 10 years, the biggest game is going to be 20-way checkers, but someone kills your family if you lose. Tell us what you'd like to hear in my honest voice in the comments below. Oh, sorry, we're not the Avengers. We're the Beavengers. We don't fight supervillains. We just appear at children's parties and bar mitzvahs. All it takes is one bad day. I can't bear to look. Has Ruff... Is that the support beam to the house? Hey, big guy, the sun's getting real low. Vote Fandom Game. He is the imposter. Fandom Game is not the imposter. Two imposter remaining.